Hey everybody, Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing. I see it all the time, people asking, do I need an extractor? In this video, I'm gonna tell you not only why the answer is yes, but what brand I love. I just go back and forth. detailing hey I got a quick little PSA for you if you like what you see go ahead and give me a subscribe like comment I'm trying to grow this channel I'm just one guy and I hope that my content is helpful to you reason number one why you need an extractor take a look at all the gunk reason number two let's just talk about carpets 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 they are everything and when you can dial in the carpet that means hot water extraction you're removing all of the gunk I'm really into the carpet cleaning industry right now. If you want to clean with a high pH, you want to rinse with something that has a lower pH, something that's more acidic. You put the hot water rinse, you mix it into your water basin here, and you are going to leave the carpets not only as clean as possible, but they're not going to resoil as faster. This is just simply the way to clean carpets. How about seats? Have you ever dealt with cloth seats and all of that moisture just wicks back up in the surface? Like cloth seats these days, all you ever see, a little water drop causes wicking. What if you see a vehicle for the first time and it hasn't been cleaned in five years? Do you know how much wicking is going on there with all kinds of nasty things in there? If you're not using something first to uh, break down some of the grease, uh, usually that would be a pre-spray and then rinsing with an extractor you're gonna have problems. I don't know how you properly clean cloth seats uh, as a percentage of success without an extractor. Sometimes you can get away with it and the wicking is not there and you do a great job, but once those seats dry, man, if you don't have an extractor, I don't think you're doing it right. You know, I used to think I didn't need an extractor, right? On the forums, there's all this, you don't need an extractor, maybe get a McCulloch steamer and you're good to go, a bucket from Walmart. I'm just saying, if you wanna be a detailer, if you wanna do the job right, this can actually make you do the job faster. If you ever tried just with your basic carpet cleaner to go in there with a brush, sometimes you're just not actually getting the stains and you spend so long trying to get the stain out that if you have an extractor and you can properly rinse the carpets of all that gunk, I think sometimes this takes longer, but if you're really struggling, this can actually make the job go faster. And finally, I just think this makes you look the part. You know that you are doing carpets right. The more that I learn about the carpet cleaning industry, the more I realize that all the attention in our industry is on uh, paint correction, shiny cars, ceramic coatings, uh, kind of an illusion for most of us. And, and what I think is real is that people, 80% of them probably, just want their interiors clean. This is how to achieve results on carpets. Carpets are this weird thing. Uh, they're almost kind of like rims and wheels. When they're dialed in, everything is right with the world, but when they're not quite perfect, you don't feel like you did the job right. So. Uh, my final thoughts are the extractor is a necessary tool if you consider yourself a detailer with a capital D. Can you go out there and make money detailing on the side without an extractor? Absolutely. I did it for a year. But now that I have this and it wasn't cheap, I would just say I think it's an essential tool in your toolkit. You won't use it on every detail, but do you need it? Absolutely. Yes.